Meow. Hello everyone and welcome to a video for Detroit Become Human. This is going to go over the secret ending for Kara and what I mean by that is an extra cutscene after all the credits play. In order to get the secret cutscene here with Kara, you have to make a very specific choice down a very specific route. So what you have to do is you have to be Kara and you have to get captured and then when you're captured you go to the recycling plant and you can do a bunch of things with Alice. There's going to be an opportunity there to go ahead and escape the plant but you do so at the expense of leaving Alice behind. So what I'm going to show you here is what happens when you leave Alice behind and I'm going to show you the secret cutscene and I'm also going to show you two different ways that this can play out. So we're going to have that secret cutscene but we're also going to have what happens if Marcus is doing his revolution and he's successful and we're also going to do what happens if Marcus is doing his revolution and he's not successful aka Connor accomplishes mission and it's very different because if he's successful Alice is okay. If he's not successful, Alice is not okay. <laughs> so you'll see some cutscenes specifically with only Marcus and Alice, which I think is kind of cool. 0% of people have accomplished that, so maybe not everybody has seen it yet. I don't know. I'm just making videos. So without further introduction, here we go. Here is what happens or the sequence of events that you need to do in order to go and get these secret endings and also to see what happens if the revolution was successful or not. Oh, he sucks. You, take this one of a dump. No, no. Please. I'll do it. So I'm going to volunteer right here, back. and then I'm going to leave. Later, Alice. Have fun getting eaten by the freaking recycling machine. God, I feel so awful, but that's what we're doing. And I wonder if they'll show her, because I'm on the Marcus Revolution right now. So technically, she's going to get saved, right? I'm assuming she doesn't stress out. Throw it over there. Move it. Let's keep rolling here. I can't believe we're just going to completely abandon Alice. That feels so wrong. And there's a question in the check. Can androids feel cold? Yes, they can. But only if their sensor's turned on. <laughs> Drop. Get out of here. You pile of scrap. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna walk over to the truck and I'm gonna try to leave. Sorry, Alice! Oh my god, I can't just sit here and abandon her. Oh, but I have to for the video! Oh, I feel so dirty! Oh, my controller's even mad at me right now. It's vibrating. Oh, it feels so wrong. Oh, they show her. Oh, God. I hate it. I hate it so much. Secrets out, chat. Whoever you want to win, just be the opposite one and do nothing. Kill him like that when I controlled Marcus, did I? It will never be over. Whoa! He sliced his neck! Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. I just want to see if anything happens with Kara. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. <gasps> she made it out! But, but there's now no the Kara! It's time for us to raise our heads up. <laughs> and tell humans who we really are. Oh, this poor kid. And tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. 
We are alive. And now, we are free. I feel so bad for this little girl. Are they gonna show her again? What is this? So she's gonna like pop out of the landfill or something, right? We've seen the landfill ending before, but Kara and Alice were both dead. Oh, you better feel dirty. You better feel dirty for what you did. That was dark. I loved that. So, secret ending? <gasps> yes! I'm so curious. I don't even know what's gonna happen here. There's Kara. Guild ridden. But now, is Alice alive? Is she gonna run into Alice because we didn't she didn't die? Just filled with eternal guilt. <laughs> okay, so let's see how many people actually abandoned her. Alice freed by Marcus. Carl leaves camp without Alice. So Alice freed by Marcus is probably even less of a thing. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to do when Marcus is not successful, aka Connor beats him up and the revolution fails. <sighs> Here we go. so wrong. It feels so wrong. <laughs> Got him. So this is it. She goes in there on her own. Kara ran away and we had Marcus fail. God, this is so sad. Oh. Go on, get in. Move it. This is awful. Please come and save me, Kara. <laughs> oh, God. So what's this going to be like? Is she just going to be there all by herself? Because Kara's not going to be there. Oh, she's going to wake up and see Alice! Or are they not going to show that? That'd be awful if she woke up and saw Alice. Oh, God. It doesn't happen. <laughs> that would have been so bad. 
Oh my god. Woo! Alright guys, this was a video for Detroit Become Human, what happens with Kara's secret ending, and how to investigate a couple of the different ways that Alice can end up without Kara. It's really, really sad. It's one of the darker videos that we've done when it comes to Detroit Become Human. If you guys have any other ideas for videos, I mean, I have a ton of things I still have to do. I gotta work on a secret Kamsky ending. I gotta do stuff with the cyber life area. I gotta do stuff with the bus. I know I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do, but if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe. It takes a lot of time to go ahead and record all of these. I actually ran out of time, or not ran out of time, but ran out of space in my Premiere Pro timeline because I have over 24 hours of footage that I have to comb through. So it takes a lot of time to get all this done. So if you guys appreciate these, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe, that type of jazz. And then I will see you guys in the next video that we do around here.